Hi everyone. A very warm welcome to this Instagram live session by Tezi Mandi. I am Vaibhav Agrawal and I am the co-founder and chief investment officer at Tezi Mandi. Today we'll talk to you a little bit about the idea behind Tezi Mandi and we'll also talk to you a little bit about our portfolio strategy about you know how it is that we go about picking stocks and how it is that we go about selling stocks. So you know Tezi Mandi was initially started as a platform around insights you know around different stocks and different sectors it was in fact called in chat which which means investment chat uh, you know we also had a community platform where investors could talk to other like minded investors like themselves because what we had noticed is that investors don't have one cohesive platform where they can get access to great research and insights around different stocks and sectors what we noticed along the way is that people are more interested in buying stocks and selling stocks you know and uh, so so that's why and what we observed is that you know most people when they go to buy a stock you know they look at a whatsapp group or they'll speak to some friends they'll speak to some family or you know they'll also maybe read something in the media or they'll read something in the newspaper and you know that's actually a very dangerous strategy and the reason for that is if you if you actually analyze the journey of making money in stocks you can break it into four different buckets the first is what to buy the second is why to buy third is when to buy and fourth is when to sell you know most people only focus on the first aspect which is what to buy the other three components get completely left out and as a result of this uh, you know it's uh, you know as a result of this most people actually end up losing money in the stock market when they invest themselves directly uh, you know when you invest directly also you don't necessarily have the bandwidth to to follow through to all all the four steps that's why you know these well managed portfolio services which are commonly called as pms services are available only to high net worth individuals these are individuals who have net worth well above 50 lakhs the minimum ticket size therefore is 50 lakhs uh, and at that level it cuts out most of the retail investors in fact if you think about it you know at 50 lakhs like it's 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 very inaccessible so that's why what we've done is we've gotten these well managed portfolio services uh, and you know we've made it accessible to retail investors in fact our minimum ticket size is 30000 rupees so that makes it significantly more accessible to a lot more people uh, now you know i'd like to talk to you a little bit about you know how is it that we buy stocks and how is it that we sell stocks So what we've done for our buying strategy is that we combine a portfolio of tactical bets with a portfolio of uh, long-term winners. And when I say tactical bets, what I mean is you know stocks that may be relevant, say from a three to six month perspective. Uh, to give you some examples from our portfolio, uh, you know earlier this year monsoons were really good, um, and that's why the you know in the rural economy was doing really well, uh, and and stocks in the you know agrochemical space fertilizer space tractor space etc uh, you know generated positive returns for us now if i talk about long term winners i mean these are stocks that may be relevant from a 12 to 18 month perspective and to give you an example you know you can take stocks in the private banking space in india so if you take the large the, the top 2 3 large banks in india the private banks uh, you know they are significantly ahead of the competition which is the public sector banks and the rest of the smaller private sector banks and the reason for this is that you know they are sitting on excess liquidity they had done a lot of prudent you know provisioning well beforehand because of which you know they won't uh, hit as badly as some of the other banks were during covid uh, and also their lending engine is on which means that you know over the next 3 to 5 years they'll gain significant market share in the banking space and so you will see that maybe over the next 3 to 5 years you know stocks in this area could generate significant shareholder value now you know i've talked to you a little bit about our buying strategy now i'll talk to you a little bit about our selling strategy you know in sports they say that offense helps you win games but defense helps you win championships So in the same way the defense or the downside strategy which is the selling strategy of any portfolio is as important as the buying strategy. So at Tezi Mandi what we do is we uh, look at three scenarios in which we would consider selling a stock. One is when there's a global negative externality. So take covid for example when 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 covid hit India in in March and April I mean the stock markets just went crashing. 
you know and and at that point it didn't matter which stock you owned you would have lost money so in those kind of scenarios the only way to save your capital is to either be on cash uh, or to to you know be in really conservative stocks like consumer staples uh, and and that's why you know getting out of stocks in a timely way can be of huge importance in such uh, situations the second situation where we consider selling is you know when there's a negative buzz around you know a specific sector or a specific stock and the reasons for that could be many it could be regulatory reasons it could be you know negative competition or it could be you know maybe some foreign player coming in and 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 sucking out all the profit so it the reasons could vary uh, and the third is if we find an opportunity which is at least 50% better than the current uh, investments that we have in our portfolio so you know that's a little bit about our buying and selling strategy you know when we combine the two of them we've seen that we've uh, gotten positive returns now to talk to you a little bit about myself so you know i've been in this industry for over 10 years now uh, i worked as an investment analyst at motiyaro sir asset management and after that i've also had the opportunity to you know learn and interact with some of the bright minds of this of this investment management industry in india and so not only have i learned from them but i've improved on those learnings and develop a distinct philosophy of my own which is what i just described earlier um and you know so so that's the reason that we've come up with this whole uh, portfolio strategy where you know we we help investors uh, you know kind of get access to a curated portfolio service so what we've done is we've offered this portfolio as a small case it is available on the link in our bio please do check it out please subscribe and uh, i'm happy to take any questions going forward